Hey, it is time to play some portable radio. I'm in Northwest Florida, so you know what that means. There's gonna be some salt water involved. Stick with me. Hi, I'm Steve, 84XT. Welcome to Ham Radio Portable. Well, today I'm located at Navarre Beach. That's right here on the Gulf of Mexico. I'm in a beautiful gazebo, uh, a picnic shelter. This thing's nice, massive. I'm the only one here. I've got the ocean, Gulf of Mexico this way, and the uh, bay is right here. And I want to do a saltwater activation today. That's, that's, that's a lot of fun, uh, sticking a vertical in the ground with some saltwater. When you're using a vertical antenna by the saltwater, it's, uh, it's a tremendous effect. And playing HF radio with a vertical antenna, it's all about the ground conductivity that's measured in millimoles per square meter and uh, you can look at that all over the country there's a map and uh, the ground conductivity where I, I live in Georgia is about four down here in this sand it's about one or two so as you get closer to the salt water you get kind of a tremendous salt water effect the uh, the millimoles per square meter uh, of salt water is 5,000, so tremendous boost. I've, I've always enjoyed doing that. There's another ham, uh, Greg Lane, uh, N4KGL. He lives down in this area and done a, an experiment measuring the effects of salt water uh, compared to just a little further inland. And uh, he's got a great video. It was part of the QSO Today uh, 2020 Expo. and uh, I'll put a link and uh, go look at that. It's, he, he does a little scientific uh, research and compares measurement. He used a couple of soda beams, whisper light beacons, and uh, had one at the shoreline and, and one a little further inland and uh, had some good interesting results there, so go take a look at it. But for now, the wagon is packed and I'm fixing to pull it down to the salt water. Okay, all set up. Let me show you my working conditions. Uh, got the little blue wagon here today. Uh, popped up some shade even though it's overcast. Uh, we're gonna use the uh, 891 and the Hammer's logging app. And uh, got a comfortable chair. I worked on this at home. When you come into the beach, you gotta keep the sand out of everything. So uh, the wagon's working well. Looks like a big signal already out of Texas. Uh, wow. But anyways, the big thing is the uh, antenna setup. We're at the uh, beach and this is the bay water. Uh, that is mainland that you're looking at there. All the way. The ocean would be directly behind me. I've got my 17 and a half foot vertical wire is all I've got with 16 radials on the ground. And I've got them all the way to the edge of the salt water. And following it back up here, about 16 radials. And I've got them all pointed towards the north. And that's the whole idea of this thing. Put your antenna towards the uh, north facing with the radials and that's kind of the way I'm aiming. This is just a center connector and a 17 and a half foot wire. It's a quarter way vertical, not really anything fancy to it on my Chinese fishing pole. Alpha Delta 4 X-ray Tango calling CQ Poda. Thank you for the park and 73. November 4, Delta Lima Tango. Roger, Roger, 59, North Carolina. All right, thanks for NC, 73. With the 7 Kilo November Bravo. 
Whiskey 7 Kilo November Bravo. Got you 5-7 in Florida. Wow, thanks for the organ. Uh, we're set up right on some salt water with a vertical antenna, so hey, I guess it's working. Yeah, I'd say it's working uh, pretty darn well for you there. Uh, that salt water works wonders. Uh, thank you very much for your activation, 73. Hey, thank you, and 73. Kilo 5 Delta Golf Romeo. I've got you about a 5'6", five, 5'7", five, into the the Gulf Coast here. 0661, back to you. That's QSL, QSL. Uh, I got you a beautiful, uh, clear 5x9 here, 59 in Texas. At US 3031, US 3031. Over. QSL, QSL, you must have some nice propagation out there with the water next year. All right, my friends, we'll see you in the next one. Good luck in the 70. A73. Alpha Delta 4 X-ray Tango CQ Pota. Kilo Alpha 5 Yankee India X-ray. Thank you. I'm copying you 5 and 7 Texas. Sounding good from Texas. Thank you. 73. Wasn't which, sure which way the tide was going so uh, I'm going to have to back the antenna up a little bit. It's blocking my radials back on the shore so uh, let me adjust them things. November 1, Alpha Tango, Sierra Central Tennessee. Okay, N1, ATS, got it. You're 5 8 into Florida. Okay, you're plus 20 into Central Tennessee. Plus 20, okay, I'm going to give you a 5 9 plus after looking at it real close. Sounding good. Whiskey Alpha 4 Julia Alpha. Roger, hey Steve, this is John up in Tennessee. You're 5 9. I'm going to be down that way next week. I'm going to try to put some. Uh, Yeah, Roger, Roger. Not actually in Georgia. I'm set up on the Gulf Coast of Florida. I've got a vertical down, set up by the salt water, and your signal is great. 5.7 uh, to 5.9 here. Back to you. Hey, uh, thank you, Miss Ellen, that there, Steve. Yeah, you're about 5.5, five, 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 seven this way. 55 and 57 on the peak there, Steve. Wow, what a great activation. Uh, 100 contacts today. Uh, 100, uh, a little over 100, 50 on 20, 10 wasn't working that well, and uh, 46 on 15, but uh, you know, I'm sitting here now in this nice uh, picnic shelter, and it would have been very easy to just set up here and, and stick an antenna in the sand uh, right out there, but it's not the same if you can get to the edge of the salt water and get those radials really close and point your uh, radials in the direction of the area you want to make contacts with and uh, it's just off the chain so I encourage you to give that a try someday and if you got something out of this video hit the like and subscribe I'd appreciate that and uh, we're gonna make more like this I'm Steve 84 XT for Ham Radio Portable 73